Welcome back to Improvision Entertainment. My name is Hunter Mun, and this is the early game of Stellaris Overlord DLC. And part of the early game is probably letting you see a lot more than you might otherwise. Um, right now we got an Edic Monolith, Monolithic, uh, El Ravris 5 is uninhabited and indeed uninhabitable, but not unvisited. Its surface is littered with tall centotaphs carved from some minerals not native to the planet, evidently placed here by some artistically inclined space race. The monoliths following flowing lines defy deftly chart a history so fantastical it is surely to be fictional. Surely. Okay. We have colony ships in the making, we just got a research done. We're trying to knock out everything with a red border so that we get more things with a red border. As much as I would like better afterburners. But we don't need mining station output right now. Okay. Cascading Catastrophe. We did indeed discover life on Kazoo 5, but by our actions it has been since, since been eradicated. The microbial creatures which lived in the outer edges of the gas giant's atmosphere reacted poorly to our deep scans. These frequencies caused each creature's cellular structure to resonate, an effect that cascaded and spread from gas mite to gas mite. Each was rendered inert soon after. We are now in orbit over the largest graveyard in the universe. Can anything be done? Issue special project. Situation log updated. Issue special project. Um restoration project atone for your mistakes atoning for your mistakes is a privilege to those with power and in this scenario we must atone dearly the disaster on kazoo 5 was horrifying and our only hope is that our scientists can reverse the polarity of our deep scanners and potentially reignite the spark of life on the gas giant all right well how much science we got we got one month of science left let's unpause research complete Okay, we got things popping up. Spit it out. Once more, the gateway has been activated. This time, the activation lasted only a fraction of a second, but that was enough for something to cross over. An unknown metallic object of extraordinary velocity shot out of the portal and cut its way through the system. Before any sensors could get a reading, the object collided with a planet in our system. We have to investigate the point of impact as soon as possible. Situation log updated. I believe that gives us a... No, not yet. There's signs of precursor activity on Eglarevis 8. 8? Ancient precursor civilization on this. Leave that be for now. That looks a little bit challenging. Okay. So we're going to pick another science. Oh, we need survey speed pretty badly. But before that happens, let's fix our mistake. Needs a science ship in orbit. Research project, then survey system, then survey system. Oh, hey, nothing out here connects, so we can try and grab ahead. Let's get this construction ship to lacking mineral, I mean, lacking alloys. We'll need to expand in that general direction. We've got a bunch of planets around us, which would be pretty complete. good. Oh, we were already doing that. Research station. We got enough for a mining station. Okay. Okay. We're going to remove two more clerk jobs. Just to be clear, how much does a clerk job produce? It produces trade value and amenities. Well, we are falling a little behind on amenities. So we could keep that going. But right now we need production. So let's get another industrial district going on. Let's leave a job open. We're looking for 500 min minerals to make more production type stuff. Science vessels over here, not doing anything. Okay, science vessel. Okay. 
Survey your way back. Then come here and do this excavation site. You can go ahead and grab this next system. Actually, this next system is better. Because it's got some science on it. Let's do that instead. Anomaly found. Highly irregular gravitational readings surrounding Eglarvis. I can't even with these words. Wait, around the star? Sure, unusual readings around the star. Eglarvis. Gravitational anomalies. In studying the bizarre readings around Eglaravis, the crew of the SGU Arbiter have discovered that the entire system's gravi gravimetrics are off the charts. Science officer Hannah Quaderi suspects that Eglaravis gateway is somehow interfering with our sensor data, or otherwise responsible for the unaccountable for mass in the system. More detailed study of the gateway may y yield more insight. Situation log updated. Well, go investigate the gateway. Man, we we can get gateway tech even faster. That'd be even cooler. Special project complete. Dark flow. Examination of the gateway did not proceed as anticipated, with sensors registering gravitational influence or orders of magnitude beyond expected values. Officer Hannah chased the source to the very center of the derelict space-time conduit. What they found there appears to have changed them. For days, following the return, Hannah spoke of massive... Indes indescribable structures of matter in the void of space far beyond any stars. Exerting an inexorable gravitational pull, Hannah claims our galaxy's streams helplessly and inevitably towards them. The mission has left the team shaken, no less for the fact that shortly after the experience in the conduit, the abnormal readings suddenly stopped. Disconcerting. Hannah gets paranoid. Anomaly research speed negative 10%. Skill level changed by 2, though. So she's level 5, but she's paranoid. Yikes, girl. I assume. I wrongfully assume. Actually, most... They don't have it in this in this game, but uh, sexual lupians are historically uh, multi-gendered. Multi-sexed, I should say. Alright, let's see how we go. System survey complete. Construction complete. Well, we want to build both of those, the research station and the mining station. Building a new home. The first colony. Our colony ships managed with surprising grace to maneuver between the massive peaks that are so prevalent in the jagged landscape of wellness. It touched down in the shattered valley that has will serve as an ideal landing site. The ship is permanently converted into the administrative headquarters of the new settlement, and reactor core is in the process of being removed so that it may serve as the colony's temporary power source. Hundreds of small tents and prefab um, shelters have sprung up around the former starship's massive hull as colonists begin to disembark in large numbers, the first sexual lupian city on an alien world. A great day for the Galactic Union. The other one will be right behind it. We are... Potentially a little behind the time compared to computers. System survey complete. Huh, these are decent systems off in this direction. Alright, if I pick up another thing... Research station output by 20%. Yeah, we've got some decent research stations. Let's do this. Okay, so red is tier 1 tech. Which is all I've researched thus far. System survey complete. Hmm. Survey system. Survey system. During its survey of Ezek 3, the SGU Remembrance discovered several exotic gases. 
Previously unknown to us, these gases have a variety of different uses, particularly in the operation of advanced energy-based weaponry and force fields. Some of the gases can also be used as starship fuel or even as recreational drugs. While we do not yet possess the means to extract resources, we should seriously consider establishing control over the system for future exploitation. That was down here. All right, we will consider that for exploitation. Anomaly found. Very hard anomaly. Our survey has uncovered something that can only be described by the scientific team as mystical. We need to investigate the phenomenon in more detail to unshroud this mystery. Leave it be for now. <laughs> Looks a little difficult. How are you coming on Kazoo over here? Oh man, you are... You haven't done anything. Oh, you're doing the science thing. Huh. I don't know if that was wise of me. Let's see here. Let's get... We need another construction ship? Maybe because of flight time? Oh, hold on, wait. I need to do... How do I... Is, that... Is it actually a science I need? One second. Okay. I don't know what the tech is that lets me build like better hyperlanes, but I'm gonna I'm keeping an eye out complete. for it. Building a new home. Alright, double colonies. Anomaly found. By chance we stumble upon a faint alien signature during the survey of this planet. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. The the signal contains no message. Could it be a distress response? Hmm, maybe. Look into it. You tell me. Construction ship is not currently doing anything. I don't have enough minerals to do anything. Actually, this is a really good science. Let's let's, let's grab here first. Construction ship or bed. Anomaly found. Sensors pick up rhythmic movements on the hella surface of Lurus One. It does seem like we are finding a lot of um, events a lot quicker than I'm used to. An abandoned life pod was detected in close orbits of Isaac 4. It is covered in scorch marks, presumably from when the pod's mothership exploded. The preliminary scan suggests it was built more than 5,000 years ago. The crew of the Remembrance managed to open the pod, revealing the withered remains of a reptilian alien clad in a resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws is a small picture of another individual from the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Neat. Geothermal. The measured pounding observed from orbit is the motion of an immense and ancient geothermal extractors. Breathing their last... Uh, breathing their last, I should say. Built and then abandoned at some point in the distant past, the vast batteries of... Disintegrated mi disintegrating machinery have been pumping up superheated fluids from the planet's core ever since. The surge ca capacitors are all broken or leaking, but some energy can still be siphoned from them. We get a bunch of energy, and we get some science. Engineering, engineering science. System survey complete. The debris field that PTRE-85-8 is part of rolls and swirls under the influence of unknown forces. It says routine, but it will take 102 days. Let's research it. We're expanding a little slower than usual, which might be good. Research we're, complete. We're getting a little low on minerals. Afterburners completed. Um, Minerals. 
Mins. Research complete. And food. Cool. We're a little low on food, it looks like. Oh man, we could have regenerative hole really early. Take a bit of an investment. Let's get the farming subsidies underway though. Special project complete. Reversing deep scan polarities. It is done. Miraculously, once our scientists installed the proper modifications on our vessels, they were able to recreate the initial cascade. This time, the effect was different. Life springing up all over Kazoo 5 in a great wave. The process has taught us a lot about the universe, but perhaps even more about ourselves. Fantastic news. Happiness 10%, stability 5%, plus 6 society research on Kazoo 5. And virtuous relief modifier added for 5 years. Cool. Now you definitely need to finish surveying that system. Hold on. Go get, go get that one. Up is down. As the SU Arbiter passed through the asteroid belt on the way to PTRE-85-8, Science Officer Hannah reported that the ship experienced a number of sudden gravitational shifts. Ever curious, Hannah dispatched- why would she be curious? She's paranoid. Hannah dispatched a number of probes to scan the debris fields to discern the cause. It turns out that the culprit is any number of gravitational generators of old alien make, sputtering on a dying energy source, and with- their polarities inverted, they occasionally spew reverse gravity into the void, though not with enough force to cause any serious harm. Not anymore. Science Officer Hannah theorizes that the generators once provided gravitational or artificial gravity for a large asteroid belt, but some malfunction eventually tore the rock apart. More science! More early science! Alright, wellness and Molly, Molly are coming along. Alright, we need a couple more monies for mins. How are we doing on the home planet? A little bit close on jobs. Let's get some more mineral production going on. But meanwhile, research station, mining station. Okay. We're not doing terrible. We haven't gotten any cool new. Okay, so going forward, our plan is to make found. allies with a whole bunch of people, possibly get into a federation, and otherwise, um,. And otherwise, subjugate everybody who is violently angry and bad, and they need to be taught a lesson. Ship sensors pick up experience patterns of interference on the kazoo system. Oh well, it's routine. Go for it. Man, kazoo is just full of shenanigans. System survey complete. Sonified science. The SGU Traveler crew has succeeded in isolating the signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interference on Kazoo's system. The signal is a song. Complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation to be precise, one that science officer Liam Franklin cannot seem to get out of their head. Who or what may have comprised this song remains unknown, although its complexity interferes, infers an incredible level of technological sophistication regarding subspace harmonics. The signal's geodesics suggest a point of origin from outside our galaxy. Oh, I'm sure that won't come up later. Do we go for this less habitable planet? Ah, it's level 24, so I think we do. New frontier is established. New colony founded. Yes, Anomaly we will go found. for low habitability. Um, Nightmorphus isn't here yet, but I expect mm -hmm. them to be later. Our sensors indicate 
odd irregularities in our Arctic Arcturus's energy emission pattern. All right, check it out. Colony founded. What are we looking at? That place has more minerals than this place. Hmm. Still, we need a couple of minerals to start with. Construction ship, what do you got? None of the system is surveyed. I've wasted your time. Go back here and grab this. Star patterns. The latest sensory readings from the Arc Arcturus showed the star pul uh, pulsating regularly. When the crew on the Arbiter arrived the site, there was no evidence to support that data. While most of the crew are in agreement that the anomaly was caused by sensor malfunction, Science Officer Hannah, who is paranoid, uh, discards this theory. Hannah claims that she's discovered similar pulsing energy emission patterns elsewhere and now fears that some strange thing is happening to the galaxy's stars. We have charted the course to the nearest affected star. We must get to the bottom of this? Hannah, until you're no longer fit for duty, we must get to the bottom of this. Situation log updated. Situation log? Wait, we should get a closer look at the crash site. Whoops, I forgot about the crash site. That's our crash site. Pulsating stars. Is this the pulsating stars? It's gotta be, because that wasn't there a second ago. Turn around and go back. Hold on, wait. I take that back. There's some gases in that system that would be good to have. All right, we will come back for the pulsating stars. New campaign, commissioners. Did I succeed in the first campaign? I don't think I did. Atmospheric pattern of Arceus three or atypical for gas giant of, of modest size. Well, look into it. Did I? I did. Okay, I'm about to get some unity bonus because I'm paying attention to my elections. Remember to always pay attention to your elections. What you assume was an ano anomaly on a small gas giant is, in fact, not. Beneath the deceptive cover of thick dust swirling the upper atmosphere is a regular planet? A barren planet, but a planet nonetheless. This has proven to be quite embarrassing to the astronomical community. Remarkable. Longshoreman was unable to recover mining station and thing. Resources have been refunded. Okay. So this is a barren world. I wonder if we can terraform it. New ruler elected. And their mandate has been updated. Economics mandate fulfilled. Bam. What's our next mandate? Can't always do the mandates, but we can sometimes. Get food to 15 plus? Okay, we can probably do that. Get another research alternative going on. Making a colony ship. We have enough to make two more Corvettes. I thought I was talking about that one. System survey complete. Residence imaging of ZL1111 asteroids suggests an internal composition of consisting of rare minerals. Leave that be for now. Hold on, science vessel. One second. What are you doing? Explore over here. Oh, wait. Research project and system. Didn't survey the system. 
then go back to what you're doing. Hey, first level of an archaeological site. Oh, I need to do the thing that's at the homeworld. Uh, the present dark and lifeless interior of the space station almost succeeded in hiding the fact that it must have been designed as some kind of luxurious pleasure palace. There are seemingly endless rows of rusty slot machines, hundreds of decrepit bars and restaurants, and amidst it all, thousands of bodies. Dead, partially mummified aliens, or at least dozens of different species, can be found everywhere, but most of the bodies are clustered around the empty escape pod bays. Curious. How many colonies do we have? And we have three... We're about to have four colonies. So, with... In doing more research. Let's get another scientist. Research complete. Uh, we're going to go with expertise industry. Hmm. <sighs> Defensive hangar is going to be good for trade value. And our ships later. Alright, we're going to unwisely put off getting our better cannons. Go crab kazoo, would you? In a minute when you can. Construction complete. Franklin has developed new skills. Bits and pieces of metal are strewn across GRT668 surface, encircling what looks to be the whole hulk of a ship. Wreckage appears to be deserted, but energy readings remain. Routine? Look into it. New frontiers established. Star crazy. The crew of the Arbiter has made an unfortunate discovery. Like they suspected, the pulsating patterns observed from Pleionon was, in fact, due to a sensory malfunction. In Science Officer Hannah's head. Well, I'm sorry, what? A sensory malfunction in her head? Their head? Science Officer Hannah has turned erratic and suffers delusions about Star's pulsating coding warning of about the coming apocalypse and of having been appointed the protector of the realm. The crew believes she herself manipulated the ship's sensory data during a psychotic spell. Hannah is now in a medical pod headed back to Sexar while she will receive treatment. Thank you for your service, Hannah Quarry, protector of the realm. Twinkle twinkle little star? Well, I got some science out of it, but I think I just also lost a science scientist. I've never had that ending before and am mildly entertained by it. I need a new new leader. I can't have one for a little while. Well, that is unfortunate. All right, continue with your task. Entertaining, but unfortunate. Research complete. Probably going to need to know how to get rid of these. Alright, we're going to risk going for population growth speed because we're sex lupians and we need more growth speed. Now we're about to have another colony. System survey complete. Stranded scientists. The wreckage on the asteroid GRT-668 is the remains of a vessel belonging to a now stranded scientist, Janara, identifying herself as belonging to the hitherto unknown Corinth species. From amidst the wreckage, she somehow managed to contact Liam Franklin, the science officer stationed aboard the Traveler, and is requesting to be rescued. She explains that her collision was due to malfunctioning navigational sensors as she has been unable to leave the asteroid for several years. She claims her scientific knowledge to be without equal and that she would be a valuable asset. She points to her survival as proof of that. Oh, she may join our cause. What do you mean, no leave her? That's very un lupian That is not the sex lupian way. Research 
research complete. Where did where did she go? I didn't click the wrong button, did I? Oh man, I want that. I want those shields and stuff, but like, did I click the wrong button? Did I abandon her? No, there. Oh. This Corinth looks human. Skill level six of seven. Wow. Hey, you can investigate this thing in our home system. I'm sure you won't betray us. Right? No, why would you betray us? Building a new home. Shared knowledge. The, rec the recent scientist edition... Janara has put her knowledge of technology to good use. Her shared insight has pushed our physics research to new heights. Our new research into technologies is further. Research complete. I, 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 you, whoa, you're not kidding. Better sensors and defense grid supercomputer, a rare tech? Awesome. Uh, What a way to end an episode there. That goes out on top. This has been Stellaris, presented by Improvision Entertainment. I've been Hunter Munn, and I will see you, those of you watching on YouTube, in the future.